YouTubers and fellow Native American flute players. My name is Martin and today I'm going to be reviewing this Native American style flute in the key of low B. This was made by Miguel Medina of Singing Tree Flutes in Portland. We kind of shot ideas for a week or two and this is what we ended up with. I wanted something winter themed and this is a polar bear fetish on ice. This is selenite crystal here sitting over a small piece of buckeye which gives it kind of a grayish blue uh, color when you're viewing it from the top. It has buckeye mouthpiece and some turquoise inlays here and here along with the buckeye at the end and then the bear paw. Um, I also wanted to use local wood and have it sent to him so I opted for um, Port Orford cedar with this particular one. It has a very fresh gingery smell to it and it's very lightweight. Um, it's a good tone wood. It uh, has a very gentle sound with it. It's not super bright and clear but uh, the flute still produces plenty of good sound. So um, I'm going to play various scales with it and then uh, let you know what I think of some of the nuances of this particular flute. So here is the minor pentatonic. And here's the Arabic scale. and the blues scale. And then also the man scale, which is something that uh, Clint Goss introduced to us on the, uh, on the YouTubes. So, overall the tuning of this flute is really great, um, I enjoy it very much. The mode 4 sounds a little bit different in terms of its pitch from the regular. But it's pretty darn good, so that would have been the E scale. Um, things to note about this, um, the flute does play this very top note and you can't always achieve that in a uh, in a very low tone flute like the low B um, but this seems to manage it okay um, I think the length and the smaller bore size help with that a bit and so um, and also the fact that it blows into the upper octave easily and so it's able to squeak up to that note so here's the upper register from here So it's got a very, very good range, and all of his flutes are pretty much like this. I was just at a festival down in Elkton, and um, I tried out a few of his others, so you can count on it having a good range. Um, it definitely uh, still, you know, uh, will warble if you are overblowing the bottom note. So, so it's jumping into the upper octave fairly easily for me. Um, some of my other flutes won't do this. Um, I think the volume of this is very good, aside from uh, the bottom note, if you're playing the others. Just gotta be gentle on that lower note. Um, other thing.
things to note about this. I really appreciated his work on how he utilized the piece of wood that I sent him. Um, this one had some nice uh, knots in it where the wood wasn't splitting and so I set aside that specific piece and he really highlighted the work nicely here. You can see all those beautiful swirls of the grain of the wood and the Port Orford cedar does darken with age so that's worth noting if you're hoping for something white you may end up with something that is more beige or even orange towards the end of this. So really great flute. I enjoy playing this. Um, excellent in tune. Uh, big thanks to Miguel Medina. I would probably do business again if I had the money. Thanks for watching everyone.